This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are examining modern speech technology as well as modern language processing techniques that operate over text instead of speech. Before we begin our examination of speech technologies, including automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech synthesis, we're going to take a brief look at how humans process and recognize speech. Here is a typical situation. We've got two people and they're having a conversation. The first person speaks, trying to convey a message using language, communicating it over sound waves. This begins with the first person having an idea and that idea then being converted using their vocal apparatus into speech, a sound wave that travels to the other person. Here, the first person is communicating a message. Would you like some ice cream? Let's break down how this speech gets to the second person and then subsequently processed and then understood. We begin with the sound itself. The sound traveling from person A travels as a series of sound waves high and low pressure that come to the ear of the listener. The sound waves enter the ear and are processed by a series of internal mechanisms within the ear. One that we're going to focus on here is the cochlea. The cochlea is responsible for converting the high and low pressure waves into signals that will then be sent to the brain. Inside the cochlea are small hairs that are used by the cochlea and the ear to convert the sound wave into a signal. That signal is then transmitted through nerve pathways from the ear to the brain. The brain then interprets the signals. So this is a very complex operation and there's some that we know about how the brain does this and much that we don't know. The ultimate result though is that the brain of the listener posits some sort of idea, some sort of representation that interprets the sound in terms of thoughts or objects in the real world. In this case, the brain of the listener recognizes that the speaker is asking if the listener wants some ice cream. So here's, here we go back in the original setting. The speaker has spoken. The sound wave has traveled from the speaker's mouth through the air as a series of high and low pressure waves to the ear of the listener. Within the ear of the listener, the ear, and specifically the cochlea, converts those high and low pressure waves that the sound came that came in as sound into signals that are transmitted from the ear to the brain of the listener. The brain of the listener then interprets the signals in some meaningful way. In this case, the listener's brain recognizes the speech of the speaker and interprets the sound waves as the sequence of words, would you like some ice cream? 
The listener then has an opportunity to respond in a dialogue, saying, perhaps, sure, I'd love some. <laughs>